What up, YouTube? <laughs> so, I'm here at work in my at my wonderful AC company that I work for, <clears throat> and I'm in this room, and we've got these things which you call line sets, which are basically just you know, um, just line that you use when it comes to your heating and cooling, running the line to your unit and house and all that jazz. I work at AC company. I still don't know a whole lot of stuff about it. I do a lot of like of the delivery stuff. So most of the time when stuff is delivered, if it's stuff that I see a lot of, I know a lot about it. But if I don't see it, obviously I don't know jack shit about it, which is probably not good since I am a delivery guy for a company that sells AC products. So probably should probably dial that in. Um, so, random question, does it, do you ever feel like you're just, here lately I've just been feeling like I've just been spinning my wheels, uh, kind of feeling like I'm on edge, really, which is weird, um, just because I think like, I don't know, maybe I feel like something is going to happen, I don't know if that's necessarily a good or a bad thing, but I've been kind of on edge lately. Maybe because I <clears throat> am just kind of feel like I'm at like a little bit of a standstill with certain things. Uh, well, you know, as I've said on a previous video or other videos, I am an actor and I hope to one day make it my full time career, if you will, or full time passion, whatnot, and hopefully make money off of it. And when I say that, I say to become a working actor not to become famous or super rich or anything off of that that's that's literally not why I got into acting I got into acting for a lot of reasons but one of them was to where I didn't have to hopefully work for a company and work nine to five or work on someone else's dime which I kind of would be doing the same thing as far as acting but it would be a lot less I don't know. It would just be, to me, it would just be more free because I'll be doing something I actually enjoy instead of something that I have to do because I have to pay bills and, you know, and be an adult and stuff like that, which is cool because that's part of life and that's what you're supposed to do. But I'm the type of person I feel like I I want to accomplish things very fast. And, and sometimes, like, I get frustrated because I don't, things don't happen overnight. And I think that's just kind of a natural thing for a lot of people. So I don't think that's too far out of the block. It's too far out of the spectrum as far as like, well, that's that's kind of normal. A lot, of every, pretty much everyone's like that. But for me, I think, well, unfortunately, being an only child as a kid, I think that just kind of put unrealistic expectations on time frames as far as things go. That's like relationships. Uh, you know, things that I've tried to pursue, jobs, just kind of whatever. It kind of just runs the gamut across my uh, life or whatever. So I think that has caused me to, over time, the older I got, it made me less patient when it should have made me more patient. Now, the older is since about probably my late 30s. Yeah, <laughs> which I'm 42 now, so my late thirties, I started to really just be like, my patients really started to get better. Um, but there still are times when I find myself just getting on edge. So I think that's probably why I'm on edge. Why? Because I'm in, I'm impatient. I, I want this acting thing to kick off. I need new headshots. I have some footage from a project that I just did. It's called trivia night. Go follow them on follow us on Instagram. It's actually my uh, my friend Zoe. She wrote and produced it, and um, we had a great cast, great crew, um, and just the whole thing was just a dope project. So check it out on Instagram. It's called Trivia Night. I'm not exactly sure when the actual release date will be, like as far as on social media, but I know that it's been distributed to some film festivals and stuff like that like you know so you know maybe we can grab some traction there if not it was still a dope project to do check it out it's called trivia night uh check them out on i think it's trivia night film on instagram um 
It was really cool. It's actually an all queer cast, uh, except for myself, but all queer cast um, and pretty much queer crew as well. Um, great message, great movie. Um, I think once people get to see it and it comes out, people will really, will really enjoy it. Um, I was just proud to be a part of it and a really, really, really good friend of mine wrote it. So, um, so check that out. As far as with the YouTube page, I would like to do reactions to videos and, um, just, you know, just watch me, you know, just watch videos and just basically talk about it because I'm a people person, I'm a people watcher. So I'm one of those people like I just when I see people dressed like they, you know, a mess and stuff like that and doing dumb shit, I like to kind of comment on it. Obviously not maliciously to just to make a joke out of it. So I think I would I would like to probably do that. I've mentioned that before on my YouTube page in another video if you've ever watched any of that. But basically being in front of the camera, whether that's YouTube, acting, um, any some anything related to that is something that I'm very passionate about. Um, I'm hoping that eventually that I can dial this YouTube thing in and it'll come out great and I could get some, you know, decent amount of followers. But you know what? It's I'm not doing it for that either, though. I'm literally doing it just because I don't know. Maybe people tell me that I'm semi-interesting, even though I don't have a lot of content. I don't have a bunch of car content. I don't have all this other, you know, stuff. I don't have great editing, if any, because I don't edit. But, um, excuse me. Yeah, I just, you know, I just produce raw videos, and this is the way they come out. So, you know, I just want to, I just like being in front of the camera, man, talking I hope to one day if I get enough followers on here to go live and interact with other people, man, because it's social media can be a great thing. You know, obviously people are, it's it's social media. So they're going to talk shit. They're going to say, oh, you're this. You're a douchebag. Why you, that guy's a douchebag or he talks, you know, whatever, whatever. So people are just going to hate because they don't like your content. And it's really easy for people to hate behind closed doors and from a keyboard on their phone or whatever. So. Um, yeah, so, uh, I was actually, you know, it'd be cool to just to collab and do some more stuff. And, um, once I get my new headshots and my new stuff up, I'm also looking for an agent too. Um, I used to have one in San Diego, uh, actually in LA, but she, um, we parted ways. So I'm definitely looking for representation and, um, yeah, you know, so but anyway, this was like a, just kind of like a little random video, I guess, of just me talking about a little bit about myself as well and just, you know, putting little thoughts down or whatever. But, <clears throat> you know, I'd be interested to hear what you guys are passionate about and what makes you happy on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you do watch this video, drop me a comment, like, subscribe, and, you know, tell other people about it if stuff is pretty cool. So... Anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time on Jarvis's Random Reviews. Take it easy, people.